Hi and welcome to this get started video for using variants for scroll documents. I'm Thomas from K15T and today we'll be looking at how to manage conditional content and publish variants of your documentation in Confluence based on your audience's needs. This app is an extension to an existing app, Scroll Documents for Confluence, which means you'll need to have Scroll Documents installed for variants to work. Scroll Documents for Confluence enables you to control versions of your Confluence documentation and manage your content development workflow in Confluence. Adding variants for Scroll Documents makes it possible to define conditional content at both a page and a paragraph level and publish variants to various formats so that your users can get the documentation that's most relevant to them. Here's how it works. This space contains all the documentation for my product, SmartApp. Some users are on cloud, while others use the app through their on-premise data center instance. So you can say that we have two variants of the product, cloud and data center. The app is mostly the same for both variants, but not all documentation is relevant to all my users. Some steps in the documentation will vary depending on the deployment type. With variants for scroll documents, I can better control which documentation is relevant for which audience using a simple label-based approach. With the app installed, I can start managing variants. I can create a cloud variant of my documentation, and then I can define custom rules based on the Confluence labels I've added to my pages. This will determine which pages will be included in my variant. So for this variant, I'll add a rule to include pages that have the label cloud. As you can see in the preview on the right, I'm showing all the pages that will appear in the cloud variant. We can even go a step further to create compound variants. So let's say I have a documentation that is only relevant to administrators and not to the general user base. I can go ahead and add a label as another custom rule that shows both the cloud deployment and only the pages that are relevant to admins. Then I can follow the same steps and create a new variant for data center instance users. Then when I publish this content to a format like PDF through our own app scroll PDF exporter, only the documentation relevant to the selected variant, such as cloud in this instance, will then be exported. But of course variants don't just exist at the page level. Sometimes an article is relevant to all audiences, but certain sections differ depending on the reader's goals. With variants for scroll documents, you can also create variants of your content at the paragraph or section level. To manage these conditional sections, just head to a Confluence page and insert the scroll conditional content macro. After adding the content to the conditional content macro, you can then edit the macro and define which variant you want to associate. This uses the same label based approach that you can just define in the parameter within the macro. Now, any text, table, image or content added to this macro will only appear in the related variant. And that's how you manage and publish variants of your documentation in Confluence. We hope you found this video helpful and that you're ready to try variants for scroll documents in your team. The app is available as an extension to scroll documents. To get started, first install the scroll documents app in your Confluence space and then follow the prompts to get rolling with variants. Both scroll documents and variants for scroll documents are available on the Atlassian marketplace where new users can try it free for 30 days. If you have any questions or want to learn more, just head to our help center where you can access our documentation or simply get in touch with us by reaching out to help at k15t.com. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.